What's up guys? This is my first time ever doing something like this. Um, I'm starting to see the little wave going on with, you know, all of this shenanigans going on with editing and stuff. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to try something different. So, uh, yeah, this is how to edit like Miz Brown. So first I start with the eyedropper tool to try to match the color right. Um, I normally play with this a few times just to see how it is, you know what I mean? Um, it's always different when you're dealing with different, you know, different pictures and stuff. Um, uh, you know, see how I got my whole setup going on, uh, you know, blacks. Yeah. So I always start with the, the exposure, boost that up a little bit, never go too high. Um, and then I go to the contrast. I normally go up with that because I like my images particularly dark. Uh, highlights always bring the highlights down no matter what I do. Um, right now, uh, the shadows. Right now, I always, I always do this with the shadows. It's like a little fun thing so I can see how it really looks. Always boost the shadows so I can, you know, get more detail in the, the textures and the skin and all of that stuff. Uh, Whites, I normally don't mess with this, but uh, I always like experimenting for each picture. Um, so right now, I think I'm gonna just you know set it about right here. Um, blacks, and I always, always, always kill my blacks. Like I always love it. Um, always, like I, I just love darker images. Um, when it comes to um, you know clarity and stuff I do that typically last next thing I do I do the lens correction always change the profile to the camera I'm shooting with the lens I don't know why I do is I like to have my own vignette you know because it gives off a vignette and then I go to uh, camera calibration I normally focus on the greens and the reds uh, it, like it depends on the, the particular picture um, in this case, uh, I really don't got to do much because the picture is primarily like orange and reddish, like in those 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 warmer tones and all of that. So uh, I don't really do much, but you know, see see how I'm here adjusting most of the stuff. So yeah. Uh, next, I go to color. I always start with the yellow to try to you know get some get some warmth into her skin. In this case. Um, I'm noticing her face like it's a little little pale uh, so like right now I'm just trying to figure out you know how to get that a little bit darker and have it all be even um, so as you see I'm fooling with the uh, what's this the oranges uh, reds and the yellows uh, just see you know just trying to get it to, to fit the best way I can um, yeah with this though, um, in this particular picture, it's like I said, it's really warm, so like it's it's easier to edit this stuff. Um, I, I typically was going for that look when I was actually doing the shoot with the girl, uh, so uh, it, it, this this one was a pretty simple edit. So I just wanted to you know show that off a little bit. Then I go back to basic boost the clarity I always like going high with the clarity always I don't know what it is about it I just love how it looks um, drop down the vibrance um, to make it a little pale-ish and then bring up the saturation to, to get those uh, low ends and stuff like that so yeah <clears throat> um, so at this point I'm realizing that her face is like really pale and I can't fix it so what I would do is get the adjustment brush tool and literally I know her face look dark right now but I would literally just boost it you know what I mean? Try to get her face to match her skin. So as you see, I boost the exposure a little bit, and then I change the temperature of it, and now it's starting to look more like her skin. So, yeah. Um, uh, those are my presets on the left side. I wonder what I was doing at this point. So now I'm changing the overall temperature of the picture. I'm like, all right, it looks a little blue. Let's make it a little bit more orange, a little more summery. I know we're in a hotel room, so it's not too much, but I just love the, the, the feeling I got from it. 
Next is the detail, I always put it around 50, 60, you know what I mean? Um, I don't really do much, I just like giving it a little bit of sharpness and the luminous. I always like having that soft skin. So like I always, you know, this is, this is like I said, this is my process. Um, I always mess with this stuff a little bit, like the smoothness and all that, but not too much. It depends on each picture I'm working with, so yeah. Next I do the split toning. This one is completely going off the picture you're editing because for this one, like I said, I wanted to keep it warm. So I chose a lot of warmer colors, like for the uh, the highlights and the mid uh, and the, uh, shadows. Uh, so I like that one right here though. But I was like, let me just keep it warm, keep it in the reddish, orangish, brownish atmosphere, and just go off of that. <clears throat> So these are the color I choose. Boost down the saturation a little, little bit uh, for both of them. I don't want to overpower my picture, um, but I do want it to have a little bit of, uh, yeah. So now at this point, I'm like, all right, her highlights is too high, so I turn them down a little bit, and then boost up the shadows. As you editing, you you'll start to do this more. You know what I mean? You'll start to be like, oh, all right, okay, I need to fix this after you adjust this. Now at this point I'm like, right, my darks is too light. Let me darken those, and then see I'll go back to camera calibration to fit that a little bit more to fit the the overall tone of the picture. See I'm like adjusting the color of her shirt and all of that. So yeah, and finally I go to the tone curve. Um, I normally you make an S, you know, with these little points, and I fold with the highlight the top. I always over exaggerate just to see what it looks like. Um, but for the most part, I'm just I'm just literally boosting the the low end, like that's just how I edit. Um, I love this like this little faded look it does. Like I just love it. It's just something about it. I can't really explain it, but I love it. So now I'm just starting to make like a little basically like a little S shape, not too much craziness. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm pretty much done at this point. I had a vignette. Um, and then once I add the vignette, <laughs> I gotta stop doing it. Like I always, always exaggerate everything. Um, but yeah, the add the vignette. Um, I normally add grain to it, but I, I feel as though this one don't really need it. Now I always touch touch the HL, HSL to change the overall look of how um, how I wanted to look. You know what I mean? Um, like the colors, let me see if I can experiment with the, the you know, the oranges, the, the yellows, the um, blues, aqua. Like I just want to see like what I would, what I can do. You know what I mean? To make it, to give it my my special touch. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> at this point, I'm just experimenting. Like it ain't. This is not a real thing I do every time. I just like doing it just to see if I can give the picture a little bit more pop. Um, Cause at this point, I, I pretty much like how it looks. I'm just adding different things to see if I, if I can um, actually live with this, this, this edit. Um, yeah. So that, and then back to basic. Now I change the overall tone a little bit more. Yeah. See, add blue back to it to make it seem like it's more fill. Add to those turn cur tone curves to add a little bit more of that washed out look that I love. Yeah. And yeah, and then I do a side by side look to see the before and after. That's what I came up with. And then now at this point, I'm like, all right, it's 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 good, but it's like missing something. So I was like, all right, let me edit the shirt a little bit more. You know, try to get some more uh, detail in the shirt. Um, like right now, I'm just fooling with the different <clears throat> colors and whatnot. Just try to see what what I like best. Um, but like I said, overall, the edit is already done. Uh, it already has the Mizza Brown effect to it. Uh, yeah. So I'm just doing a little bit of little minor tweaks here and there. And uh, also, um, as I'm looking at this right now, uh, yeah, so as I'm looking at this, you know, side by side, I start seeing like a little, little bit things here and there that I could probably fix in Photoshop. Like, uh, you know, like this little part right here, and probably boost her smile up a little bit more, but I don't know. But for overall, it's done. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. It's my first video. 
and here's the after. Double fist, and I'm gone.